now ECOWAS is demanding the political regime in Guinea set up a transition period to return the country to the civilian rule within a year. Also, the military junta is asked to immediately undertake conditional and conditional release of the deposed Alpha Condi. These are demands contained in the yet-to-be-released communique reached after an extraordinary summit held in Accra. Let's speak to Presidential Affairs Correspondent Elton Brobe on the communique we have intercepted. Elton, what more have you gleaned on the decision that has been made at the meeting? Well, so NF, we're waiting for the ECOWAS Commission President to formally uh, speak to the media at the news conference to outline the outcome of this one day summit that looked at the political crisis in Guinea and the ways that ECOWAS can help bring some sanity to that country. So, what we have is a draft that is awaiting the uh, presidential signing, and then the news conference will start. So, basically, they have seven points uh, that obviously will form the basis upon which ECOWAS will react formally yeah. to the uh, crisis in Guinea. First, is a demand for the unconditional and immediate release of President Alpha Conde, mm -hmm. and they want this done immediately without delay. Okay. Secondly, uh, they are recommending the imposition of a travel ban on all members of the National Council for Rally and Development. This is the umbrella body under which the military regime is operating. So they want travel ban of all CNRD leaders. Okay. as well as their family members and supporters. This measure, according to ECOWAS, would not apply to invitations extended by ECOWAS, the African Union, the European Union, and the United Nations. Second, uh, thirdly, uh, they are recommending the freezing of all financial assets of members of the CNRD, including the, uh, uh, the self-imposed you know, head of state, uh, Colonel uh, Mahami, uh, and, and fourthly, the setting up of a political transition of a maximum duration of just one year. So within one year, they expect that uh, they are able to hold elections and return the country to constitutional rule. Okay. The report is also recommending the nomination of a civilian to lead a reference transition and the appointment of a facilitator by the president of the committee to accompany the process of a return to constitutional rule. And lastly, the report is suggesting the creation of a monitoring committee comprised of ECOWAS, the African Union, and the United Nations uh, to help, you know, shepherd uh, Guinea in the constitutional. So this is what we've been told has been submitted to the heads of state that uh, participated in this meeting, uh, called by President Okufuado, and very soon the commission president who hold the news conference and also take questions from the journalists here. Mm. Very interesting points there. But Elton, we understand the leader of the military junta is holding a parallel meeting to return the country to civilian rule. What more can you tell us about that meeting? So that's the information we picked this morning, right after the opening ceremony. Uh, a source close to the foreign minister uh, told me before he submitted a report to the meeting. And that's at the same time that President Kufuado was meeting leaders from the regional bloc, the military regime had also announced a four-day consultative meeting, more like a people's assembly, where they are expecting that within the next four years, uh, Guinea, from all walks of life, will have the opportunity to speak to the issues of governance and to suggest the best possible governance uh, for Guinea within the interim. Okay. And then any other concern that they may have with the constitution. Remember that the constitution was amended and exactly. that gave Afakondi the opportunity to start a third term, mm -hmm. which won, which according to uh, some people triggered the uprising that support his administration. Right. Now the military regime is saying that they they put together this for the consultative meeting because of feedback they got after listening to the various political parties, civil society groups, and foreign diplomats stationed in Guinea. And therefore, they needed to expand the discussion, bringing everybody, for everybody to speak his or her mind. And then the, the, the consensus that will come out of it will determine the way which, government, which governance, which yeah, we are the way forward. That's so, it. until these matters are resolved, mm. it will be difficult for them to comply with. Uh, any roadmap that ECOWAS 
who impose on them. Now we're waiting to hear from the ECOWAS uh, Commission President how they hope to incorporate what is happening in Guinea and what has transpired here, and how they hope to enforce the implementation of the roadmap that will be imposed on them. And indeed, that is something that we are waiting to hear from President Akufado Elton. Thank you very much. Of course, John News is there for you. Once the chairman of ECOWAS, President Akufado, is ready to address the media, we'll take you there.